six years ago you walked into my life and now I can't remember. <laughs> it's okay. Six years ago you walked into my life and now I can't remember how I ever lived without you. When we first met, I didn't realize ooh, how quickly your voice would become my favorite sound. Or how nothing would compare to the feeling of belly aches from laughing so hard with you. Words can never do justice to how I feel about you, so I promise to find hundreds of ways to show you every single day. Jordan and Tiara have invited you here today to share with them in this celebration of their love and desire to join their lives together in marriage. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but rather an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. One of the most remarkable moments in life is when we meet the one per special person who doesn't complete us, but inspires us to complete ourselves. The one person who makes the world so beautiful that we can't imagine spending another day without them. Tiara, I have come to realize the magnitude and meaning behind the three words of I love you. It can never be summarized by anything else other than those words alone. Those three words describe the light of joy that ignites in my heart every morning I wake to your smile and every evening I kiss you to sleep. Those words illuminate the warm hugs, our heartfelt conclusion after one of us falls or encounters defeat, letting us know that we will always be there for one another. Three words mend tears and transport me home whenever I am far away when uttered from your breath. I am honored and proud to be able to say them to you, more so to be able to receive them. Yeah. To Jordan, I haven't known you for very long, but you've always exceeded my standards for a man that would marry one of my best friends. I'm sorry. He is selfless and kind, and there is no one besides Jordan that I would trust to be Tiara's husband and lifelong friend. So Jordan, thank you. Thank you for being there for her when I can't be. And thank you for being a man. Tiara's dad would be proud to call her husband and his son-in-law. I know he would have given anything in the world a million times over to be here tonight. His love for Tiara was unconditional and unyielding. And I'm so thankful I see that kind of love for her and you. but every day I get to live my life with you is the best day of mine. Today I join my life with yours. Wherever you go, I will go. Whatever you face, I will face. Today I choose you and I will continue to choose you every day and in every lifetime, for one lifetime with you can never be enough. So I vow to illuminate your life with smiles, to fill your life with laughs and joy, to hold you through rough storms, and to mend your tears. But most importantly, I vow to love you forever and always by your side, as long as you'll have me. I love you, sweetheart. I vow to never let you forget the definition of marriage, which according to the dictionary is a relationship in, one, in which one person is always right and the other person is the husband. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, your turn. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ha, 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 ha.
I'll always remember the first time I learned of Tiara. I don't know if you remember this, Jordan, but I was still in college, and I got a phone call from you. And especially during that time when we would talk on the phone, it was never about anything substantive. It was just about nothing, really. But he starts off by saying, so I met somebody. And so, OK, I realize it's time to pay attention to what he's going to talk about. <laughs> and he goes on and on talking about this girl who he had just met before he got deployed. And it was the most sincere I'd ever heard Jordan talk about anybody. Actually, I was, wasn't sure if Jordan was ever going to get married, because during high school, he never bought, he never bought any girls home. And I was wondering, well, what's going on with that? <laughs> But then I talked to my wife, Ann, and she said, no, I told him, don't bring any crazy girls home. Uh, but then I remember, you know, Jordan was about to go on his first deployment to Australia. And he said, you know, I've met someone. And, uh, but I don't know, we'll see how kind of things work out uh, when I get back. And so he came back, and that person that he met was T.R. But it was something that showed to me that there was something different about T.R. that really he cared about. And it was then that I realized, it didn't take me too long to realize that they were meant to be together. I see love. I see fun. I see adventure. I see a few grandbabies. <laughs> no rush. No, seriously, hurry it up. <laughs> but Tiara, you are the love of Jordan's life. Jordan, you are the love of Tiara's life. She's a kind soul. She's generous with her time. She celebrates your wins like they're her own. And she's easily one of the most thoughtful and selfless people I know. Jordan, thank you for taking care of our girl. And Tiara, I know our dads are sitting up there watching. And ha your dad, Jeff, has the biggest, proudest smile on his face. What I'm about to say comes from me here on earth and Jeff up in heaven. With all our heart and a smile on our faces, Jordan, she's your problem now. <laughs> Cheers. Woo!